Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most compassionate. All praise be to Allah. Peace and blessings be upon the Prophet Muhammad and all the prophets from Adam to him. Peace be upon them. My distinguished friends, today's topic will be on a very important story that Mevlana Muhammad Jalalatin Rumi speaks about a deaf man and his sick neighbor. One day, a wealthy person said to a deaf man, Look, you have a neighbor who is falling ill. Then deaf man wanted to pay, to pay a visit to his neighbor who was sick. But there was a big problem for him, a big challenge, a handicap. He had no hearing. It was virtually impossible for him to hear anything from his interlocutor. So he started thinking what he should say, how he should say. He conjured for some time about his possible questions and possible answers he may receive during the conversation with his sick neighbor. The deaf man said to himself, since I had difficulty of hearing, and it is difficult for me to understand, but at least I could follow his mimics, the movements of his, li of his lips. Especially now he is ill and his voice is uh, mostly weak, but I have no escape. This is my moral duty. I should go pay a courtesy visit to my neighbor. He said, suppose I am in the same condition as he is now, what should I do? So he imagined couple of questions in his mind and also a couple of answers to these questions that he expect the conversation will go the way he planned. He said, when I see his lips moving, for example, I will form a good guess based on the movement of his lip. And I will ask him, how are you, my friend? And he will reply, I am fine. I am pretty well. So I will re respond to him, thank God, shukr. Then I will ask again, what kind of medicine are you taking? He will reply to me, most likely, sherbet or liquid or kind of lentil soup. All the things are eatable and drinkable. Then I will say, may these things that you are drinking and eating bring you health. It will be healthy and beneficial for your health. Then next question I may ask, who is the doctor attending you? He will answer so and so. Then I will tell him he is the one who brings good luck for many people. His food, his presence is so beneficial. And many people has been cured from his treatment. The good man made all these conjectural answers, questions and answers in his mind. And he made all the preparations, formulated all his questions in his mind and memorized them well and had it to his neighbor. Then the neighbor, of course, was very ill in his, death, in his bed. And he asked to his sick neighbor, how are you? He answered, I am at the point of death. Of course, without realizing, without hearing what he said, on the basis of his presumption, on the basis of his conjecture, he said, oh, thank God, cried the deaf man. At this, the patient became very resentful, to say the least, extremely upset, saying to himself, what kind of thanksgiving is this? He must be my enemy. The deaf man made a conjecture, but now it appears it turned out to be wrong. After that, he asked another question, what, he was, what are you taking as a medicine? He said, poison. And poor deaf man said, may it bring good to you, give you health, said the deaf. The sick man's anger increased tremendously because of such an answer. Then again, deaf man naively continued to inquire about the well-being of his friend, neighbor, 
which doctor is coming to attend you? He replied, Azrael, the angel of death coming. Get out on my ways. And the deaf man, without understanding what he said, oh, he's very blessed. He always brings good, cures people, and heals people. You must be happy. So then the deaf man left the house of the sick man. He said to himself, oh, thank Allah, thank you Allah. I can take leave now. I fulfilled my duty. He was thinking of like that he did his best. Now when we look at on the side of the sick man, he was thinking that who is this neighbor? Is he my enemy? Let me send him a letter. He reflected, he thought, I should condemn him. I should blast him. What kind of visit? Because normally people come to ask their well-being. So this kind of visit was not very pleasant at all. Then, as in the case of deaf man, deaf, who was very happy, he thought he did his duty, and fancied that he did his kindness, and I have paid my respects, I have per performed my duty as a neighbor, but look at the result. Without realizing, he kindled a fire of resentment, that's what Mevlana says, against himself in sick neighbor's heart and burned himself. Now, this story goes on. There are many lessons to be extracted from this story. But so far, let me share with you what should be the conclusion, what should be the outcome of this story. Imagine the intention of the dead man was very honorable. It is one of the prophetic virtues to visit the sick and attend to their needs. But has this de deaf man really done a good job by visiting him? Although he thought he fulfilled his duty as a neighbor, and because Prophet Muhammad peace upon him warned concerning the rights of our neighbors, such goodness and courteous act that has been well intended but wrongly executed by this death led unfortunately to very unpredictable consequences. So, we may make many plans on the basis of our limited senses, reasoning, that may appear to be very good for us. We may Calculated according to our limited resources. But can we get what we expect from such planning, which has been done only with our limited senses and reasoning? This is one. Second, regardless of our good intention, Unless we are sure that we want to do what we are doing, how we will convey our message to others, we should not act unless we really well thought, well designed, well planned, and make sure the person whom we are interacting well understood. We may have a very good opinion, very good plan, but that needs to be always consulted and examined, even cross-examined, then we may get the result. Of course, the other part of the story has to do with the limitation of human senses. 
and human reason. And the, what can we do as a human being with our just reason and senses, senses if we do not receive guidance from the revelation, especially in conducting our spiritual, moral affairs. So, hopefully, in our next presentation, we'll talk about more on the details and ramifications and implications of this story, inshallah. May Allah Almighty keep you all in His mercy. Increase our wisdom and knowledge. May Allah's peace and blessings and mercy be upon you all.